In the vast and different cosmos, our Earth was once a hellscape of molten rock and poisonous gases. A world hostile to life. And yet, the planet spins a blue marble suspended in the void. But this is not the Earth we know. No, this is Earth as it was four billion years ago. And yet, in this crucible of creation, something extraordinary is about to unfold. A cosmic accident so improbable, so magnificent, that it would forever alter the face of our planet. We see it. A tiny strand of RNA, barely visible even to our mind's eye. So fragile, so insignificant to our human perspective. And yet, in its simple structure lies the potential for all life as we know it. And now, witness the miracle. It copies itself, imperfectly, yes, but in this imperfection lies the seed of all future diversity. Each copy, a new experiment in the laboratory of life. Each replication is a new opportunity, a roll of the cosmic dice. Some will fail, others will thrive. This, this is the brutal poetry of natural selection playing out on the microscopic stage. But life, in its infinite wisdom, stumbles upon a profound truth. Cooperation. Two molecules working in tandem achieve what one alone cannot. This simple partnership lays the foundation for all complex life to come. As we observe this dance of creation, one cannot help but feel a sense of awe. The sheer improbability of it all is staggering. Yet here, in this vast oceanic laboratory, life finds a way to persist and grow. And so, dear viewer, we stand at the precipice of the greatest story ever told. The journey from this humble beginning to the vast tapestry of life we see today. From these simple beginnings, life embarks on a journey of endless innovation. Single cells join forces, forming complex structures and paving the way for the explosion of diversity to come. Life ventures forth from its microscopic cradle, exploring new forms and functions. The seas teem with an ever-growing variety of creatures, each a new experiment in the ongoing story of evolution. But the ocean is just the beginning. Life, in its relentless drive to explore and adapt, sets its sights on a new frontier, the land. A challenge that will spark another revolution in the story of life on Earth. Behold the trilobite, one of the great success stories of early life. For over 270 million years, these creatures would dominate the seas, a testament to the power of evolutionary adaptation. As life conquers the land, new opportunities arise. The stage is set for the next great act in the drama of evolution, an era that will be dominated by creatures of truly epic proportions. And so the story continues, ever-changing, ever-evolving. What wonders will the next chapter bring? And so, we find ourselves witnesses to a grand metamorphosis. The primordial soup, once a chaotic maelstrom of chance, begins to pulse with purpose. In these ancient waters, the first stirrings of life's grand narrative unfold. Observe, if you will, this simple cell. It appears unremarkable and yet within its fragile membrane, a revolution is brewing. Here, in this microscopic arena, a miraculous transformation occurs. Sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide are woven into the very fabric of life, with oxygen emerging as nature's exhalation. In a twist of cosmic irony, this tiny being has learned to harness the very energy that fuels the stars. Photosynthesis, nature's greatest alchemy, transforms our world from a barren rock to a vibrant sphere of life. Earth becomes a beacon of biological possibility in the cosmic void. We plunge now into the ancient seas of the Cambrian period. Gone is the monotony of single cells. In its place, a carnival of life forms beyond imagination. Each creature a testament to life's endless capacity for innovation, a living experiment in the laboratory of evolution. Behold the trilobite, armored like a miniature tank, scuttling across the seafloor with purpose unknown even to itself. 
And here, the otherworldly Opabinia, with its five eyes and proboscis, like the fever dream of a mad god. What selective pressures could have birthed such a creature? Observe the Anomalocaris, a meter-long predator with grasping appendages and a circular maw of nightmares. In its time, it was the apex of evolution. Consider the humble Pikaya, a small, eel-like creature. Unremarkable to the casual observer, and yet within its simple form lies the blueprint for all vertebrates to come. In this unassuming package, the future of complex life on Earth is quietly taking shape. The Cambrian explosion is a reminder of life's resilience, its endless capacity for innovation. It is a testament to the power of time and the relentless force of evolution. As the eons pass, life continues its relentless march. The Cambrian gives way to new ages, each with its own marvels and mysteries. Yet the echoes of this explosive period of creativity resonate through time, shaping the very fabric of life on Earth. As we stand upon the precipice of a new world, one cannot help but marvel at the audacity of life. For here, at the edge of the primordial seas, a revolution is about to unfold. With each labored breath, with each awkward step, life embarks on its greatest adventure yet, the conquest of land. It is a journey fraught with peril, a cosmic gamble of staggering proportions. Observe the majestic Brachiosaurus, its neck stretching towards the heavens, a living skyscraper of flesh and bone. One cannot help but be humbled by its sheer immensity. In the dense undergrowth, a velociraptor stalks its prey. Its eyes, glinting with a cold intelligence, remind us that nature's brutality often wears a mask of terrible beauty. But even as these titans dominate the landscape, a far more modest creature scurries in their shadow. Here, in this tiny fur-covered form, we see a glimmer of our own distant past. Look now to the sky. That faint glimmer, that insignificant speck of light, it heralds the end of an age. The asteroid strikes with a force beyond human comprehension. In an instant, the work of millions of years is undone. The mighty fall, and the meek inherit the earth. As the dust settles on this new world, we find ourselves in a landscape of desolation. The great forests burn, the skies darken. It is as if the planet itself mourns the loss of its children. And yet, in this apocalyptic scene, we find a glimmer of hope. For life, in its stubborn persistence, refuses to yield even to this cosmic catastrophe. Millions of years pass, and from the ashes of extinction, a new form emerges. Behold Homo sapiens, the latest chapter in life's grand narrative. And so, the story continues. From the ashes of the old world, a new creature emerges. Small, vulnerable, yet possessing a spark of something extraordinary. With trembling hands, it grasps a stone, turning it over, examining its edges. In this simple act of contemplation, we witness the birth of technology, the dawn of the human age. And then, a moment of profound significance. A small group huddles around a flickering flame, their faces illuminated by its warm glow. Fire, once a terror, now becomes an ally, a tool that will shape the course of human history. With fire and stone, these early humans begin to shape their world, crafting tools and harnessing the elements to their will. Each innovation builds upon the last, accelerating the pace of change and expanding the realm of possibility. As we fast forward through millennia, we see these proto-humans spread across the globe. They adapt to every environment, from scorching deserts to frozen tundras. Their resilience is nothing short of miraculous. Here, a group of humans paint on cave walls, recording their experiences for future generations. It is the birth of art.
recording their experiences for futures and time through symbol and stick with the It is the birth of art, of history, of the uniquely human ability to transcend time through symbol and story. In these simple yet profound acts, we see the awakening of human consciousness and the desire to leave a mark on the world. And there, in a fertile river valley, we witness perhaps the most profound revolution in human history. Agriculture, the ability to cultivate the land, to put down roots, both literal and metaphorical. The simple act of planting and harvesting will transform human society, leading to the birth of civilization as we know it. As civilizations rise and fall, human ingenuity reaches new heights. We build monuments that touch the sky, create systems of writing, and begin to unravel the mysteries of the natural world. As we hurtle towards the present, the pace of change becomes dizzy. The Industrial Revolution transforms the face of our planet in mere centuries, a blink of an eye in geological time. And now, we arrive at the present moment. We, the descendants of that first curious hominid, stand at a crossroads. Our technology has given us godlike powers, but have our wisdom and empathy evolved to match? In this interconnected world of our own making, we face challenges and opportunities on an unprecedented scale. As we contemplate our future, we must ask ourselves, what responsibility do we bear as the inheritors of this grand evolutionary legacy? Are we the caretakers of life's story, merely its final chapter? And so, we stand here at the current apex of four billion years of struggle and triumph. Behind us lies a tale of unimaginable beauty and loss. Before us, a future limited only by our imagination and our will. As we gaze upon our blue planet from the depths of space, we are reminded of our cosmic heritage and the responsibility it entails. What wonders will the next chapter of life's story bring? And what role will we play in shaping it? The choice, for better or worse, in our hands.